Hello everyone, we are going to start set theory today. A set is basically a collection of uh, well-defined objects. For example, if we have a collection of uh, first 10 natural numbers, this is called set because we have collected first 10 natural numbers. Now we have some notations. We know that uh, 1, 2, 3, till all these numbers are elements of set A. So we can write 6 belongs to A because 6 is element of uh, A. Similarly, we can also write 8 belongs to A because 8 is an element of A. But we can see that we don't have 11, 12 or 13 here. So we can also write that 13 does not belong to A because 13 is not an element of this set. Similarly, we can write 14 does not belong to A. Now we can have uh, some <coughs> notations for uh, writing of set. For example, this set can be written as we will denote all elements of uh, this set by X. We say that all elements of this set are equal to x. Now we can see that all these elements are natural numbers. x, the elements of this set are x and x is a natural number. x is a natural number. And x is less or equal to 10. So in this set, we will have all natural numbers from 1 till 10. Similarly, if we have uh, another set like x such that x is a positive integer, x is a positive integer and x square is less than 20. Now, what type of numbers we will have in this set? First of all, uh, look at this statement that all numbers we will have in this set will be positive integers. And then look at this statement x square is less than 20. So we have to think of all numbers whose squares are less than 20. We know that Square of uh, 1 is 1, square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16, square of 5 is 25, and uh, square of 2 is 4. So look at these four numbers. The square of 2 is 4, square of 1 is 1, square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16. So these are the numbers whose squares are less than 20. We will not include 5 in this set because square of 5 is 25, it is exceeding then uh, 20. So in this set we will have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we can write set in this notation. Now, next thing is subset. If we have two sets A and B and if all elements of set A are present in set B, then we will say that uh, set A is subset of uh, set B if all elements of set A are present in set B set A is set to be subset And uh, it is denoted like this. A is a subset of B. A subset of B and B is called superset of uh, set A. For example, if A is uh, 1, 2, this is set A and set B is 1, 2 and 3. Now we can see that all elements of uh, set A are present in set B. So 
we will write a is a subset of b and b is superset of set a okay now for example we have uh, two sets a is 1 2 3 4 5 and b is 3 4 5 6 and 7 next thing is union a union b in a union b we will join both sets we will write elements of both sets but make sure that you don't repeat any element for example if we combine these two sets three four five these three numbers will come two times but we have to write these numbers just one time so the union of these two sets will be one two three four five one two three four five and we will not write these three four and five again because we will not repeat any number and then six and seven so this will be union of these two sets similarly in intersection it is basically uh, the set of common numbers the numbers which are common in both sets so we can see that these three numbers three four five three four five are the numbers which are common in both sets so in intersection we will have these three numbers this will be the intersection of both sets now next thing is difference of two sets a minus b it means elements of a which are not present in set b all elements of a which are not present in b so we can see that one and two these are the two elements which are not present in set b so a minus b will be one two similarly we can also find b minus a it means all elements of b which are not present in a we have just two numbers six and seven these two elements are not present in a okay now next thing is universal set and complement of a set We have a set which is called universal set basically this is the biggest set under consideration under in, in, in any question it is usually denoted by epsilon sometimes it is denoted by u but i'm going to denote this epsilon uh, x is a set x is natural number and x is less or equal to 10 this is universal set now in this problem this is the biggest set the biggest set under consideration is called universal set and we have two more sets uh, set a is x such that x is multiple of 3 and uh, x is the set such that x is even and uh, find a complement b complement a union b complement and a minus b complement look at the solution of this example first of all we have to write these three sets in numerical form so the universal set is it is the set of natural numbers which are less or equal to 10 so universal set will be natural numbers from 1 till 10 now set a is multiple of 3 you can think of uh, multiples of 3 th uh, 3 6 9 12 up to so on but don't go out of the universal set so we have to think of multiples of 3 which are less than 10 so we will have 3 6 9 we will not write 12 uh, 15 because these numbers are going out of the universal set so because universal set is the biggest set in any question so we will not go out of the universal set similarly set b is the set of even numbers so in first time numbers we have uh, 2 4 6 8 and 10 okay first of all we will find a complement a complement basically set of any complement is the difference of set from the universal set a complement means universal set minus a similarly b complement means universal set minus b
now if we want to find a complement it means we have to think of the numbers of universal set which are not present in a because we have seen the difference of two sets how to calculate difference of two sets so uh, if you want to find a complement it means we have to think of the numbers of universal set which are not present in a uh, one two four five seven eight ten these are the numbers of universal set which are not present in a now similarly uh, we can uh, we can find b complement in b complement we have to think of the numbers which are not uh, the, num the numbers of universal set which are not present in b we can see that uh, set b is set of even numbers so all odd numbers of universal set will not be present in set b so we will have 1 3 5 7 and 9 okay now we have done with complement union intersection difference next thing is venn diagram we can uh, describe all these terminologies using venn diagram for example if we if we want to describe a union b consider that these two sets are overlapping set there is something common between both sets so a universal set is always represented by a rectangle now this is set a and this is set b if you want to describe a union b as a uh, in a venn diagram uh, you have to shade both sets a and b because union of a and b describes all elements which are present in both sets similarly we can shade a intersection b like this this is set a and this is set b we have seen in previous example when we were finding intersection of two sets that intersection is basically set of common numbers the numbers which are common in both sets similarly in case of venn diagram it is a region which is common in both sets so this will be the common region and similarly if you want to find a minus b if you want to shade a minus b when we were doing difference of uh, two sets a minus b means the elements of a which are not present in b so in venn diagram it means the shade in the region of a which is out of the b which is not in b so this will be the region of a which is not in b similarly we can describe complement of a set in a venn diagram for example if we want to describe a complement this is our universal set and this is set a a complement means universal set minus a all elements of universal set which are not present in a so all elements or the region of universal set which is out of a that will be this region this region similarly if you have three sets like a union b intersection c and we need to describe this region using venn diagram consider that these three sets are overlapping sets now we have to shade the region of a union b which is intersecting with c this is the region of a union b this is the region of a union b and the region of a union b which is intersecting with c this is the region of a union b that that will be the region which is intersecting with c so we will have this region similarly if we want to find complement of this region so in this case we will have a now this region is shaded in this venn diagram if we talk about complement complement mean the region which is outside this region so that will be this region this region just don't shade this thing up next we have uh, a word problem related to the set theory and uh, we can also describe subsets using Venn diagram. For example, if we 
say that A is a subset of B. So this will be subset B and this is set A. We can say that all elements of set A are present in set B. So A will be the subset of B and B will be the superset of set A. Now look at a uh, word problem. In a class of 40 students, of uh, 40 students, we have uh, 15 students who like science and we have 25 students who like math. But we will have uh, some students who like both subjects. This is in fact a class of 35 students. In a class of 35 students, we have uh, some students who like science. There are 15 students and there are 25 students who like math. But there are some students who will like both subjects. So we need to find the students who like both subjects. Find students, find number uh, of students. who like both subjects okay now we can solve this example using Venn diagram let's suppose this is set of class which is universal set and in this class we are discussing two sets this is set of science and this is set of math in this example we don't know that how many students do we have who like both subjects so this is common reason in this region those students will come who like both subjects and we don't know about these students so we will write here x and uh, we can see that we have total 15 students who like science so here we will write 15 minus x because if we add up all numbers if, if we add up all numbers in this uh, science set we will have 15 minus x plus x both things will be cancelled and uh, we will have 15 so in this circle we have 15 students who like science similarly we we will write here 25 minus x now we have three type of students 15 minus x are the students who like just science and 25 minus x uh, are the students who like just math and x are those students who like both subjects and if we add these three numbers 15 minus x x and 25 minus x we will have uh, 35 because we have 35 students in this class uh, these thing these two things will be cancelled so 25 plus 15 will be 40 minus 35 and minus x will come here so x will be equal to 5 so we have total 5 students who like both subjects